So this video is for um, uh, solar panels on uh, DIY stuff on Facebook. And, you know, I'm getting comments saying I shouldn't be doing it in the first place if I can't, if I can't make a welder for the, the K-Weld. So this is to prove a point and to um, show that this does tilt. So here we go. Got the it hooked up. Uh, reverse polarity goes up. Straight polarity goes down. And here's going up. That's part of it, but it will go about 40 degrees, um, and it tails toward the driver's side. And I want to go too far. I want to damage this cord. You know, or it is right now. It's ties I want it right now. But uh, yeah, that's uh, got boxes. These kind of flex because it's so long. It kind of hangs down a little bit. But I got these, my own design. Um, I got these all wired up. These are all in series. There's four in parallel, and the four down there are, are in parallel, and they're hooked up in a series, and they're all like that on each side. So it's four, and uh, so it's four by four times four. So I get I get quadruple the voltage and quadruple the amperage. So and these are about 20, uh, 18 volts a piece. Uh, no, 20 on the average. Here's this uh, RNG uh, 100D SS RNG. They're like 21 or 22 percent efficiency, and they're only like 100 bucks on Amazon, and they're like 97 each, something like that on Amazon. And uh, uh, max open circuit voltage 22, 100 watts max. Um, so you get about a pro on average, you get about 20 watts, uh, 20 volts a piece in the sun, and you know any higher than that is you know push a lot of power out. But uh, so there's eight of them in a row, and there's two rows at 1600 watts. And I only have one row set up, so I can, I can go up to 800 watts. But, uh, and they're going through these cables. Um, they're going, I can hook to here, and back of there. I make those, and the wiring is all the same on both sides. It's exactly the same, because um, they're both in series parallel. This hasn't been hooked up yet. When you hook them up, you hook them up here. So this is, you know, from series, this goes to series connection right here. And these are all in parallel. And these connect, connect the series together. So, and this is the positive and the negative rail is over there. And the same thing. And the left side is going, the driver's side is going to that wire. There's a positive going there and the negative over there. Over there. It's going down to the uh, controller in the back of the truck. And I got these at either Home Depot or Lowe's. Uh, they're waterproof. Um, these are uh, super strut parts and uh, super strut parts and uh, and this is um, uh, what do you call them your um, their uh, foam things like uh, neoprene and they kind of because the roof is kind of uh, it curves up from the middle so this kind of levels it out and makes it like the weight to hold on to it so it compresses it down and it holds the weight and these just, just hold it from moving and that supports the majority of the weight probably half the weight and the rest of the weight is on either side and you can see it curves down a little bit because of the weight but that's the design and this is stainless steel to buy the steel alone was $200 um, and they have you have these bolts you put in the bolts I put drill holes through them had a machine shop do them because you know the the cost of um, gas and rod and it's it just it's just literally it's literally cheaper. It's like forty bucks a piece to weld them to weld them, uh, which is not that bad. But the cost to buy them to buy them and have it cut is what, is what, is what like the cutting them cutting all all the pieces was like one hundred and sixty bucks. Um, and the <clears throat> but uh, I have I have I have three hinges. They're stainless steel as well. And I have all the super strut. It's either super strut or unistrut. I think it's called super strut. And they're used in the field, like from what the boxes and industrial areas. Um, so they're designed to be outside anyway. Um, 
So and I just drill holes every or all the, all the holes two sides of each panel, and each panel has in two sides, and they have four bolts on each side, and they're all torqued down. Um, these are all torqued down, at least the ones I can reach with uh, eight pounds, uh, nine pounds maximum, according to the uh, Unistrut Super Strut slash Super Strut um, uh, manufacturer. And then I have I have a rail. I bolted in. I drilled a hole through the side and put that RV stuff between them and clamped up every every other rib. So one here and there's one after the middle rib and one after that. After that, I have two pieces. Uh, the maximum are 10 feet, 13 feet long, and then there's about probably about so the box is 14 feet um, uh, minus you know the front and back parts, which is about a foot off, so about 13 feet. So it's about a 10 foot and a thir three, three foot. And it runs, runs down about approximately 85% of the length. So uh, there's a light on the end, the very end down there. So I, when I stopped just before the light because you need, you need the light for you know, busy buildings like that. Plus you, know, you, can't, you can't get it moved out of the way because it's not perfectly aligned to, to this. They, they, do, they do it by hand, you can tell by looking at it. Uh, one side's you know, like a couple inches before, uh, further back or whatever. Um, and I have these, and I mounted these rails in there. Um, I have bolts and stay on stem. You need the most you need is two, um, three is too many, one's not enough. So, two is a good balance. It's uh, and then you torque and these all, all these all these big ones, all these big ones, you have them down to eight pound eight pounds, the uh, nine maximum according to the manufacturer, and. Uh, um, and that's about it. Um, we have these can pu can push approximately, I think it was like 330 pounds a piece. Um, I'm not sure if it's pull or push force, but I think they're, they're in both directions. I'm not sure. But I had these on Amazon. They're like five bucks a piece. And I had these, and they're clamped down on three positions here and three down here. And the wires are run underneath in these boxes, and these are wired. In these boxes on all three and they're in parallel and I have this thick 12 gauge wire and this is probably over here it's probably 18 gauge and I had to make these cut this custom custom so 200 hours for the metal uh, 160 or so um, to cut plus um, 40 each so you're looking at approximately 500 bar dollars just for that right there alone um, the panels alone were about a hundred piece, and there's 16 panels. That's sixteen hundred dollars right there. Plus this, that's two. That's two thousand. Um, plus this, I pro plus this and the bolts adds up. And, you know, stainless steel bolts and this, all this metal. You know, it's the stuff that's incredibly strong. And I mean, as strong as I possibly could. There's no way I could have done any better. There's just no way. There's nothing I can I could add more. I add. I changed it. I want to use this small. The small stuff. There's the big stuff. I want to use the small stuff on the panels, but as I as I got, got along further, um, the weight just quadrupled and tripled, and it just it got so high. Out of these on here for strength and you know rigidity, and you know next thing you know you know you don't even want just this to twist at all. Um, you can adjust these, but they, they kind they kind of suck. Um, you can turn turn these turn these things on both. You do this. You got a, not a king pin. It's a cotter pin on, on on one side, and this is a flat head on here. And you slide them through. Put it. Put a washer on one side, and just put the uh, king pin. Uh, the king pin. The um, uh, cotter pin in. Cotter pin in. Uh, and I drill these holes and drill some. I got these uh, C sticky stuff from Home Depot. You stick on, you stick on, on surfaces like the command strips kind of thing almost. Um, they're supposed to be like an industrial kind of thing from Home Depot, but uh, they're pretty decent. Um, um, they seem to hold. I had one cut, one come off, and uh, that's coming off too. But I'd say 90% hold. So uh, you know, as far as these things are kind of big and bulky, um, they have a hard time staying. But besides that, you know, the small pieces, they work fine. They never had a problem. But, you know, probably like one of each of these on, the, on these sides, the, this part is, and probably one somewhere down there, I think on the other side. And they're wrapped around this one, or that down there, um, comes off. So two out of that, I don't know, 20, 
Um, so 90% will stay on. Um, be aware of that. Um, but that's coming off. But uh, besides that, you know, that's not that bad. So uh, that's a uh, project. And uh, then when you turn them down, you want to first polarity. So in this case, this goes up. Hit it, reverse it. Got a cold here. We'll go down. And they have a switch inside that when they go to the maximum extension and maximum retraction, they'll hit a switch, internal switch that turns them off. So, and because of that, you want them to, you want to <clears throat> keep the power on there until all the power is not, and all the amperage is not flowing, which means they all hit their switch, limit switch. And the one at the very far end was going for about two or three seconds, which is fine. Um, you don't want much of a, um, a twist on it. That's not good. Um, but, uh, I mean, it's hard to figure out how to line these things, um, unscrew the, the piston. Um, I mean, there's, I think they're all the way in, and they're still not, not perfectly straight, which is almost impossible because, you know, I guess they, because of the weight you're pushing up, um, I guess they're not going to be always straight. And, you know, they're going to have, a, they're gonna have some, give, some slack in there. Um, so, I'm not sure, but, uh, yeah, um, this is to hold these in and there's one here and one so there's three of them in there holding it um neoprene and there's a same on both sides exactly the same now i'm thinking about putting another rail on the very bottom and having these bars going to down, down up and down to have more panels on on the top or bottom or whatever but uh you know theft is a problem vandalism um I forgot what to do with there, but um, yeah, that's a uh, project. Just tape here for now. Uh, eventually, you need to drill a hole somewhere in here, and then put a, one of those boxes. I got a big box. I can put a big box like right here or something. I might put it like right here um, in the middle, and then have you know maybe a, a Wi-Fi mounted to the, the bottom, and have a little box in there, and have power. Uh, I guess from going from um, up from the roof, uh, just for the uh, probably from the main power, main batteries, or I can have um, a separate battery. You know, it's hard to say, um, but uh, yeah, I can, I can just turn, th turn things off and on with the switch or whatever. Um, they have covers on the side of the boxes, and they're waterproof. So uh, that's uh, what I'm working with. Um, they get dirty occasionally. Um, Snow because it gets on there. Um, but they clean, clean up really nicely when you uh, when I scrub, scrub on them really good. Um, but they're pretty, the snow was on there, completely covering them. The snow melted and the water drained out um, from like right here somewhere. It dripped down. So, uh, it, you know, it fixes itself as far as snow. Um, but yeah, I mean, you can climb up here, put your feet on the, um, uh, the no step. With a part the seats at the gray thing right down there and and put your foot on the on the on the right side of the handle the hole right there right there so right here and uh you can just just enough to, just to put your weight on, on the door just a little bit to push yourself up up here and then you can come up here and you can come up here hold on to these um, I would hold on to the, hold on to the, the rail as the strongest part, like so. Like this, then on both sides, uh, put, you know, put the phone down because you need two hands and just pull yourself up. So uh, yeah, same thing. That's how I get this. Thanks for watching.